Hi everyone, welcome to Sunday Fun Day. We're going to have a great live today. It's going to be, uh, have a couple channels coming in. We're going to talk about their gardens and what's going on, where they're growing, and uh, the importance of collaborations. And it's just going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys learn a little bit. Hopefully you connect to other channels because that's what we, we're not like super chat, connect and grow. But you know what, in this chat, we want everybody to connect because that's the way to grow is connecting with everybody, following everybody, learning something. If you learn something from a little video, hey, it's well worth that two hours you're watching. But, it, you know, it's a lot better than reading a book and, you know, take 20 hours. <laughs> to me, reading a book could take a long, long time, <laughs> especially the books I read. Um, I... I love ordering from Master Gardener books. I mean, that's a lot of reading. <laughs> and so this is the Master Gardener book from uh, Penn State University. Awesome stuff, guys. And most of this stuff's general things in here, but, you know, just tons of great information in, in these books. And they're expensive. These are like $85 or something like that. But it's uh, a lot of reading. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to have a great Sunday, fun day. People are starting to roll on in. Um, we're going to bring away some books, some yarns, um, and lots of seeds. And, uh, yeah. So uh, let me see who's in the chat. Oh, might as well get some glasses on. <laughs> it helps a little bit. I'm blind. Um, Tuesday and Thursday, we have some awesome lives on Grow Big TV. So hopefully you guys could check that out. Um, eight o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and uh, we're looking. We're we're trying to find the best master gardeners in the whole world, and some best YouTubers. So it's a kind of co a connection there. And uh, and I always say, it, if you could put it in your pocket, it's well worth the listen. Uh, welcome, Dark Lord, Dark Lord Bennett, my Renaissance Grandma, two percent, Jeta da Juby, Angela writes here, Purple Tea Bear. Garden State so-and-so, Hillbilly Chicken Ranch, Gale Southern Living, Milk and Honey Heritage Farms, Canadian Proud Get Outdoors, Pen Pest Hunters Outdoors, Who about Denise is here, Denise Pasquale, and I probably said, Denise, I'm sorry if I said your last name wrong, but that's what happens on my channel. We say everybody wrong. Beverly's here. Welcome in, Beverly. Simply Jan's home, um, just simply Jan Homestead. We got Jay Dixon. I love Jay Dixon. Jay Dixon's the best. Um, you know, I don't think I even have Jay as a mod in here. Jay is one of the best mods in um, wherever you go. And she is absolutely amazing. There we go. So I got you. I got you, Jay. Um, Rick is here from Australia. Lisa, El Lisa Ellison. Peace, love, crochet with Deidre. Pamela Morrison. Wanda Moses. Canadian Proud Get Outdoors. Dawn and Holla having fun. Wanda Moses. Kathleen Moran. My Renaissance Grandma. There you go. I love when you guys talking. You got Jennifer Ocean Homestead. Jersey Twister. She's so close to me. And there's Greg Bryson with the 30 months becoming a member. And just to let you guys know, we're going to have uh, starting next week, if you are a member, um, we're going to do 10 spins of the wheel for members only, too. And those seeds will only be from M.I. Gardner and Maris Heirloom Seeds. And why? Because they're a sponsor of us for Grow Big TV. You, I got to love that. And welcome in Builders Belt on a Rock Homestead, David Gray, G Mama Gross, and thank you everybody else for coming on in. So that is awesome. So uh, I invited several people into a group that I've been friends with a long time. And so let's welcome welcome them in right now. We got Heather from Milk and Honey Heritage Farms. Welcome in, Heather. We have Gail Southern Living. And we're going to add some more to the chat in a little bit. So uh, there are going to be several other people coming on in. And uh, welcome in, guys. So good to Hi. see you. Thank you. So Gail's been doing this whole collab thing for the last two months, sharing collabs. And I think that's so important because 
you know, you have no idea where to find them. And then one person you can find all the collabs <laughs> is Gail's channel because that's what she talks about. She loves talking about, she loves supporting people. So, Gail, what, tell us some of the collabs and what's going on right now. Uh, currently, I have two gardening collabs. I have hashtag garden tour club, which is everybody who was already going to do a garden tour anyway. We just join together, support each other. There's going to be a monthly giveaway. Prizes were donated. Uh, the first prize for the end of March is going to be a $25 Amazon card. And you'll look for the playlist for Garden Tour Club March. And I will pick one of those videos. I'll draw a name uh, of everybody in the collab. And then I'll do the YouTube random comment picker to pick the winner for the $25 Amazon card. So you don't know what video I'm going to pick from. I won't know until the day of. So. I have several prizes donated and they'll go all the way from March through the end of August. I'll draw at the end of each month. And then I have hashtag weird container growing. It's just growing in any unusual container that you have that's not necessarily made for planting. And, and what that's other just to get people to think, you know, to kind of budget and look around your property and see what you might have that you can plant in that's, that's you know, great. not what you're normally planting. Yeah. And what other clubs are going on right now? I know I'm asking you off, you know, without anything in front of you. <laughs> uh, Heather, Heather, tell us about your collab. Well, I have a um, hashtag hot and with a letter N, hot and cold drinks collab that's open to anybody. It can be healthy, fun, not healthy, but it's cheaper than going out somewhere and getting that drink and all the creative ways that people can make things at home. So I've got that going. That's awesome. Okay. And on Gr Grow Big TV, we have six contests. You can win $100 by uh, winning the contest. Second and third prizes, you get seeds, which is really, really cool. So you have the uh, Detroit Red Beat. But the thing is, it cannot split up top. So there's a registration video. you got to say all in on a video. got to make three videos, one in the beginning with the seed packet, one in the middle, one at the end. So basically one middle, you know, one, three, you know, three types, beginning, middle, and that's it. And then you have the um, um, Peter Pepper, which I have some extra seeds for that. So if you want to enter, it's um, just enter the video. If you need help, I'll try to get you seeds. It's all about people right. entering and having a good time. To learn from each other. Joe. What was that, Gail? Did you get my email asking you? Yes. Some okay. Yep. I haven't been home have since, huh? yeah, I'm going to send them to you. I haven't really been home since, well, a little bit on Saturday for a little bit when I was out in the garden. Otherwise, I haven't really been home. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> I, I work, I go to sleep for four hours and I go back to work. So my days are, that's my days, which is pretty <laughs> insane. Yeah. Um, so um, also we have, uh, let me see, we got the, Sunflower challenge, the mammoth sunflower challenge. Uh, how wide you could grow the sunflower, which is really cool. Very and then, um, I gave I have everybody I know that won seeds. I've been adding them in their packet, <laughs> so hopefully everybody gets. Hopefully, a lot of people got those seeds. Um, who else we got? I'm trying to think of all. Of them. I, I I didn't come prepared either. <laughs> uh, you have the Dr. Witchy's tomatoes, watermelon mm -hmm. radish, sunflowers. Red beets, zucchini, and Peter peppers. Yeah, that's all six wow. of them. Gail's yeah. on it. She's a lot better. She's more on it than me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I've been okay. St. Patrick's Day. I've been pick, I've been picking up people that are drunk all day. <laughs> you got to see these people. Noon, <laughs> they were like, "Whoa, I got to go home already." I'm like, "Oh my god, what time did you start?" <laughs> yeah. I didn't. Even I actually looked around and tried to find a green shirt today to wear. <laughs> I got For my St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's yeah. Day. Yeah. I double greened up. <laughs> awesome. Well, Tina, Tina is here. Welcome in, Tina. Hey. Hey. Uh oh, we got Echo. Well, I think you're back. Tina, say something. I think you're good. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yep. Yep. You're yep. good. 
I think you're a little bit under a delay. Yep. Yep. You're, I'm okay. All right. Yep, you're good now. Just a little okay. bit of a delay. Okay. It's all good. Oh no, um, it's. I don't know what. Let me. I'm gonna close. There we go. There we go. There we go. It happens. So, yep. what's going? What have you guys been doing in the garden? What's been? What's? What are you guys doing right now? Like, where? Where are you at? And your what? What stage are you guys at in the garden? Everywhere. <laughs> I'm about seventy-five percent planted right now. Wow. And how about you, Tina? Where Where are you at right now? I'm getting my bags in. I had to order in. I just. Yeah, I'm getting my soil together. I just picked up five more bags of mushroom soil up in Lancaster, and I'm getting my grow bags. And I need to order some more raised beds. Okay. Yeah, cool. there's no way I could do any raised beds yeah, right now. I don't know why there's a delay. My, I have such a large garden or far a little mini farm that I can't do the bed. So I gotta put everything in the ground. And yeah. I'm still and you guys see my mess out there. I went out there, I'm like, oh my god, look at the damage. <laughs> I saw your carrots in the in the barrel. That was pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah. I did that last fall. I harvested last fall and I planted those in October and let me just throw some seeds out there and see what happens yeah, and uh -huh. look, got some out there I have a whole bunch of other carrots I actually picked out of the day and uh, that was in a different section I had different sections you guys seen four but I also planted in other parts too <laughs> whatever <laughs> makes it hot. easier for me to get out the door <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, there's no way I could plant and maintain all that that would be too much because I pretty much do all the work myself so yeah. I don't have well, for me, for my garden, I got to get out there at five o'clock in the morning. And then I got to find a way to shower. Then I got to be at my desk job. It's basically 7 30. I have to be there. So, and I can't be so late. You're gardening before work. Yeah. That's what I have to do. And then when I get home, you know, between doing the Grow Big TV show now, and a little time before that, that you know, it's very limited time period. So, yeah. and if I have to pay a bill, then I got to go Uber. That's what it comes down to. And I Uber the weekend away. Um, I, the last two days, I come home four o'clock in the morning. So, then good, how much? Uh, yeah, it's, what did you say, Heather? It's a busy weekend for. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, some other channels today. Yeah, Tina's under a little delay. I think she might have to reboot. Right. Um, um, yeah, so it's, you know, it, I got a big farm. I got to try to make it easy for myself. You know, I don't like to use the, the weed tarp, but I have to use the weed tarp to, okay. you know, yeah. make it work for I, me. I did that all well in my um, So, I a lot of it. So. Let me take Tina. There we go. Yeah, it was really staticky, huh? So, but yeah, I've got a lot of areas that I garden in as, as well. And I do most of my um, work by myself because my husband works, you know, full time. So he can only pretty much do things in the evenings and on weekends. And so it's kind of a rush rush when he gets home to do whatever he can. So he basically uses the weed whacker and does a lot of mowing. And then I try to do all the, as much as I can by myself. So. Yeah. I, my wife can't go out there. She's allergic to bees. Um, I mean, she had uh, honeybees stinger. She's been to the hospital. Wow. And she has oh. a really bad reaction. So why not, you know, why not plant 3000 vegetables? <laughs> there that bloom? You, you need to get her an air conditioned bubble. <laughs> that's it. That's all. Yeah, Give her perfect. a bubble. Get to work. Arms <laughs> out, <laughs> little plastic gloves or whatever. <laughs> her job is actually take care of the pool, so she does all the pool work. So she keeps that nice and clean. Ooh, so that's lovely. So cool. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that works out really well. 
Let's see if Tina has a better connection. Is that Hello? better? Is that better? Yes. Okay. I was streaming. I was streaming on my TV in two different rooms. Ah, so yeah. I think that was interfering with my internet connection. You were like a robot. <laughs> that was like a robot. So I'm glad that worked. Yeah. All right. Much there we go. What so did I Tina, miss? How was your trip to PA? Oh, it's always lovely when I get to go up. I have uh, quite a few friends up there. My husband and I do. And um, I went up because I left my pillow with my friends. I stayed the night up with my friends and I left my pillow there. Uh -oh. And I have been missing it. And I'm like, I've got to go up. So we went up, <laughs> did yeah. some shopping, picked up the pillow and um, came home and we'll be back up there next weekend. I tell you what, mushroom compost is the best. I just it picked is. it up. Five bags. I got there are five dollars a bag up there. Where I stumbled across a place up there, and I'm like, okay, we're getting some more today. I'd love to see where they grow these mushrooms to make this mushroom compost. Yeah, like what does it look like, you know, as it's growing and and when they're harvesting it and doing what they need to do. That'd be yeah. cool. Yeah. Well, I was really thankful because uh, my one friend, Stephen, he's an Amish farmer. He I, That's where I get my fish emulsion from, for my garden. But he, I have it somewhere around. He, he always sells this um, granulated, like root seedling strengthener type of thing. The first year that I used it, I never staked my pepper plants. And the steak on my pepper plants, I like the stalk itself. I couldn't get over how thick and strong it was. So I was able to grab some of that yesterday to when I'm ready to go. I, I'm not ready. I mean, I'm in zone seven. I'm down in Virginia. So like Joe, yeah, I just I can't get outside completely yet. Everything. I did some cold weather crops. So right. yeah, I'm still waiting for my all my brassicas and stuff. I mean, I'm not supposed to plant yet until like two weeks from now, anyway. Okay. So everybody thinks spring is spring. Time to go out there. No, 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 no. Uh, well, we, have, I mean, we had freezes in May in New Jersey. I mean, it's been warm the whole winter, but we could still have you freeze. Not time to plant? What, Gail? You mean it's not time to plant? Not here <laughs> in my zone. I did I did lettuce and radishes and carrots. <laughs> But yeah, not yet. I got some more time to get my garden together. I know. I can see Gail sitting in a lawn chair eating her cherry tomatoes and laughing at us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'll be burning up and y'all still be getting nice vegetables when my garden's like yeah. burning up in the Texas heat. So there's That's that. True. I tell you, Gail, what you got to really look into is biochar. Really research it that's what i'm doing right now because it keeps all the moisture and nutrients right in that one section okay. when you use biochar okay. so if you could do that and keep the moisture there the whole time and reduce mm -hmm. your water in and it takes care of the heat and all the microbes can work for your plants mm -hmm. it's something we really need to look into and research and um you put you put your biochar and you put your compost that, that which adds your micros Mm -hmm. You've got, you got a lot of good stuff happening for your plant right there. Yeah. A nice, um, some kind of a mulch, I would think, would help as well. I mean, anything, wood, wood anything, might be so good because it's so hot. She's got those ants. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. I got the, uh, I usually use pine mulch because I'm allergic to cedar. So I was like, well, because uh, I had it in the car, but if you put it on the ground here in Texas, the ants will crawl in it and they'll bite you as you go to get in it, the soil yeah. or the pine mulch. Oh so my. I have to leave it in the car till I'm ready, but I'm waiting for my zucchinis to pop up and then I can put it all around there. There so you that's go. What I use it for, for that's weed nice. suppression. So that's Biochar will also help with your ants because oh, it's really? too grindy and they, they just don't like that kind of activity there. Yeah, so they also don't like those... cow manure. I figured out they don't like cow manure. They won't climb in that bag. So mm. if you put cow manure in your beds, yeah, it, I have noticed my beds are not so 
Uh, I haven't I haven't noticed a lot of ants in my beds this year. I think it's oh. because I started adding that cow manure this year. Oh, that's great. Like that's, that's good. Manure. That's good. <laughs> yeah. So since I've been having limited time, I have this whole game plan in my head. It's unbelievable. Hey, Jamie, welcome in. It's unbelievable what I have going in my head right now, what I want to do in my yard. Because I have, I have all the resources back there that I need to succeed. I just got to put it all together. But because of the lack of time, I ordered some stuff. So I got this compost biochar. Okay. And cool. It has micro, mycorrhizal fungi. Fungi. I'm a fungi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, let me say. The fun guy you want, not the one you don't want. <laughs> hey, D's at Garden Adventure. Oh, I'm so glad Tell Us Treasures is here. That's my sister, Cher. She's oh, my moderator, and she, she, she actually changed. She's starting a channel. Oh, that's cool. So, congratulations. Yeah. You have to share one of her videos when she gets one up to me. I will. I will. Hmm? I just dumped a whole bunch of biochar on my desk. <laughs> hey, did y'all hear Indiana Backyard Gardener is doing a seed swap this year? Somebody shared that. I don't know. Hey, Dee's Garden Adventure. But I, I, there's so much I need to catch up on over the weekend. She, like, I've got most of my stuff planted. But my thought is, if it's really cool, I'll make room for it. I could always go buy a pot to put it right. in. Right. So uh, or I can use the seed for next that looks, year. That looks really healthy and good. Nice and dark and yeah, black. Nice and dark. Yeah. Yeah. What does it smell like? Nothing. A little earthy, but not too much. It's earthy because of the compost, but the biochar takes all the smell out of it. Here's the next question. What does it taste like? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how You're not going to fool me that? there. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Yeah, I um I have a great nursery right literally by me, and I usually go and buy their soil and their um, compost and their leaf mulch and uh, use that. But this year I'm trying to just – God bless you, Gail. I'm trying to switch some things up this bless year. You. Bless you. Got that one. Oh, my goodness. The car got to her. Oh, maybe it's the sage. Ooh. It could be. Because remember, I was sitting there, uh, I was digging the sage out of the little, so you have the jar. I was digging the little seeds out of the, the dried pieces. Hi, Jan. Are you allergic to it? Hey, Jan. Not that I know of, but. See, what you know what Jan posted, which is really awesome, because what we do is we over fertilize everything. We're killing the soil by using all that fertilizer. So Jan here, she tested her compost today and only needs uh, phosphorus, phosphates. So that's pretty good. Yeah. So if you guys are doing compost, don't all compost is not created equal. So get that right. tested. No, it's not. And that's important. You so. know, I've never tested my soil. Me either. I just look at it and go, hmm, I think it needs a little of this. It's the way I cook. And a little of that, and I think we're good to go. Yeah. So I want to try to several times like a month, different parts and writing it down. And then um, maybe as I do that and getting used to what it looks like when I'm testing, then maybe eventually I'll be able to have that. All right. I just need to add a little pinch of this. And you right. know, yeah. So that's kind of the goal. We'll see if I can get to it. <laughs> yeah. I learned. I want, uh, hello, sis. How are you? Hey, P and J. Oh. Hello, Paul and Jason. Look, at, we got a lot of people coming in. This is awesome. This is the crafty yeah. side coming on in. <laughs> it is. It's very yeah. cool. So is... I'm going to be starting my seeds this week because my last frost date is April 30th. Okay. And um, typically, it's a little bit too soggy the right after that it, to plant in the ground. And so a lot of people here in Oregon, well, the part I'm in, will tend to plant their plants right away, like the next day, and then they lose their plants too soggy. So I'm, you know, you've got six to eight weeks before you're supposed to plant most things. So I'm good, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Hey, if you're watching over on my channel, would you guys uh, share this video out and give a thumbs up and chat and talk over there? It helps out a lot. 
Ask a question if you have a question. I am. Um, are you streaming on your channel? I am. Are you? You guys, you guys can stream too. You guys, it's all good. Yep. It's, no, all, you guys, it's all good. Um, so I got this rapid soil test kit and it's, it's, I, I like it. Um, I used this before. It's 40, 40 tests. Okay. That's what I have. And so you could test this. I mean, it's not going to tell you everything with the soil. You need to go to your ag center to, to get that. And they can range from $20 to $150. Right. Depending on what you really want to find out. Because yeah. you can't just do one test, one little spot. You really need to test every single. My my soil is different in for every, every single section I have. Yeah. They oh. usually say to take some soil from each area that you grow in. And test it that yeah, way are, because it will show you, yeah, you know what you're low on. So, right, pie mm -hmm. and things like yeah. that. Well, I'll I tell hope. you, this year I started my seeds three different ways um, because I'm testing, right? So I started it with that Jiffy seed mix, right, that you always get, right? Then I bought the Miracle Grow one, and then I bought an organ organic one. And it's an organic potting soil or soil. Right. And I'll be I'll be honest with you, none of them are doing what they should do. Yeah. And, I, I, and I've never had this problem before. And I'm really disappointed that these are I understand maybe some of my older seeds didn't germinate, but these new seeds that I got from in my gardener and stuff, they're not germinating. And I'm and I'm not sure exactly why. Yeah, so, I, mean, I own because I the quality of the jiffy in my area i don't know if it's everywhere i just last year i was very unimpressed with it so mm -hmm. i'm mean, known um, well, the peat moss and yeah and, and i did that too and this year I'm, i did not i said let's just just let's compare and see the difference you know and, yeah yeah and i'm it's still early enough where i can go and plant start seeds again it, that's not an issue for me but right. just disappointed you know yeah. yeah. Not that I have. I mean, I have had germination. It's just when you plant a hundred and some seeds and you don't, you maybe have a third of that, you know, that's disappointing. Yeah. Very disappointing. That's, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we have you know, the seeds we did, we did in the paper towel, Tina. Um, yes. My pepper and seedy peppers are up. Yeah. Actually, I have a, thanks for reminding me because I have a whole, whole drawer here. I started seeds last last week and um a few maybe started a little sprout but thanks for reminding me i need to check those before i forget them again me too that's so using we, the paper towel method so just let you guys know we have jimmy pickles here jimmy is in a hulu uh video he's he's a superstar jimmy's a superstar yeah Hi. he's in a movie super hot so it's just it's a 10 thing series on hulu so welcome in jimmy pickles you guys want to buy hot pepper seeds? He also he also has the second hottest pepper right now uh, around, and more testings going through that. But uh, yeah, second he beat the Carolina Reaper with the hottest pepper. Oh my goodness! In the video. So now, and and there's another pepper above Jimmy right now. So thank you, Jimmy, for coming on to the live today. It's good to see you. Yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you, Jimmy. Um. Mona did what is here? Who else just came on in? Talos Treasures, welcome in. Vineyard Chicks, Lulu's Treasure Trove, Mar Maritza's Yard and Crafts. There's Mountain Grandma, Jane Doe, and Jane Doe is another great mod. I got some of the greatest mods. And everybody else has been modding this channel, keeping it safe, and that's where it should be. Absolutely. And uh, I never really had any problems except for one person trying to do stuff for the last um, two years. And but you guys been keeping them in place, so which is good. And a penguin in a chef is here, so welcome to the channel. That is awesome. So there's 81 people at the live right now, so thank you guys that's for coming. That's awesome, and that's, uh, that's really we, awesome. We'll see if we could be last week. I think we had about a, I think we had 121 total last week. So let's see if we could break 121 this week. Yeah, <laughs> welcome <laughs> in. For right. Share this out for Joe on your community tab to get some more folks in here, guys. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so let's get into that. Uh, Sharon, uh, 
it's so important to share channels out if you want to grow because you yeah. want to be put in an algorithm. And so the more sharing you do, the people are like, oh, man, this must be a really good live. That's what they say. So we're going to share this out to more people because that's how it works. So if you're in a group of friends or you, you're enjoying a channel, you're enjoying the content. That's the way I look at it as, too. You enjoy, you enjoy the content. No matter where you are, share it out. People yeah. put a lot of effort in these channels. Right. Um, share out the lives. It's important. Get the thumbs up. And hit yeah, hit the thumbs up. It's free. <laughs> it's free. And your friends, the same thing. If you have friends here, share them out too. So you're putting a group, share them. I mean, just it doesn't take too long to share somebody out. But also yeah. watch the commercials, watch the video. You know, yeah, yeah you want to share everybody out. Also watch the whole thing or a portion of it. You know, and be truthful about it. Yeah. Um, and well, Kathleen's here. My Alabama farm life. Hi. Hi, Kathleen. Hey, Kathleen. Hey, how are you? So good, good. to see everybody here. <laughs> Said I've been I've been lurking a little. I I had some butter. I mean, sorry, I had some milk. I left it out on the counter. I needed to make butter, so I had to go and did that real quick. So I'm, I have a little bit of butter. She just went and made butter in five minutes. Okay. No, no, no. It wasn't five minutes. <laughs> it's more like good a half an hour. But now, yeah, what's your What's your guys' favorite thing to make in a kitchen? Salsa. Of anything. Just think of anything. Like, what would you want to... I'm in a kitchen. I'm I'm doing nothing today. What would... Name something that you really enjoy in making. It could be Salsa. butter. It could be donuts. It could be whatever. It doesn't matter. Bread. Oh. That's hmm. pretty cool. I love making Enchiladas bread. Enchiladas or lasagna. Some, like, really good hearty meal like that. I like to watch someone cook a really good meal. <laughs> I like a bartender. <laughs> Watching him pour some drinks is pretty good to me. <laughs> Haven't had that in a long time. <laughs> also like a nice salad with some good like lettuce that has like herbal leaves and stuff in it where you have like all the great things added like cucumber and tomato and all yes, this, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I agree with. I agree. Today out of my lettuce from the garden, so that was really cool. Nice. I can't wait to do that. Mm -hmm. I wanted to, but all mine bolted. It's like it got really warm, so oh, the, no. the rabbits. That's okay because I go out and I harvest some every day for the rabbits. Yeah, so they're yeah. eating it. But I got some really pretty flowers. So I, can't, I can't wait to have that first salad from the garden. You know, yeah. even if it's just going to be the fresh lettuce, I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't have, you know, of course, I don't have any tomatoes in the garden yet. I wish the lettuce and tomatoes would come out at the same time. I and know. Fruits in it and some boiled eggs and it was good. Yeah. So when I do my, uh, my lettuce, I put them in grow bags, not, gr not a grow bag, uh, a container bag of, of compost, for example. You know, mm -hmm. you get them in the store, you get those big bags. That's where I, so I have my table. I just put the bag there, add some stuff on top and plant right there. Just, and, but, you know, the soil's only this thick. So you got to maintain the water. One of my highest videos I ever done, I think I have 78,000 uh, people that watched it. Is wow. That video. Great. And that was pretty cool. <laughs> you see these, and it's still coming. It's done three years ago and it's still going. Uh, I've been doing it every year. I did spinach last year, and spinach worked great too. And it's yeah, right outside my door. Right the grow bag where you're growing right in the potting soil bag, and you cut you, the, you yep. cut it out to like a, a like a like a picture frame. Yep, exactly. Yep, I've done that too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Kale. I've grown kale in that before on the front porch during the winter. Nice. Yeah, kale is a pretty hardy um, plant that you can keep growing in the cold. But I use the grow bags or however you want, root bags for all my lettuce. That's how I grow all my lettuce, spinach, and that. For me, I just I, I put it on a regular table. <laughs> it's a regular one of those folding tables. Now, and, as we, yeah, as it gets hotter, I'll, I'll bring everything inside and I'll grow it on my growing shelves inside where it's cool in the basement. And I'll grow because you can't grow it in the heat here. Yeah. Not You're going to have to excuse me. Exactly. I need to go put my chickens to bed. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, mine are still out running around, but that's okay. I'm only 4.30, so I'm still too early. <laughs> 6.30. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, so just hold on with me. We're going to go to the wheel fast. Ooh. And the only thing we're going to do is, actually, we're not going to do the wheel. Wheels for the bigger prizes. We're just going to give some seeds away really quick. So we're going to name 10 winners. And so I'm going to go to my StreamYard giveaway tool. And let's give away some seeds quick. So good luck, um, everybody. So hashtag Sunday fun day. One word. Hashtag Sunday fun day. That chance says hashtag. <laughs> and Gail, uh, I mean not Gail. Uh, simply Jen never wins. <laughs> and I don't expect Jan to win today either. <laughs> That's she's already no exception. So yeah, make sure you for those who are new, make sure you put that hashtag in Sunday hashtag Sunday Fun Day mm -hmm. to be entered. They're starting to roll in. Sunday Fun Day. I think I've heard someone say that before. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, well, I, I'm gonna. I'll be right back. I'm sorry. So out right. all, 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 uh, out of all the years you guys been planting vegetables or flowers, what do you guys have the most experience growing and maintaining? Hmm. Tomatoes. I'd have to say tomatoes. That's always the first thing that we put in the ground and the thing that we we work the hard at, hardest at growing and keeping. So those tomatoes. Zucchini. Yeah, I'd have to say salsa tough. Zucchini, cucumber, pumpkin. I don't know. Lots of stuff. <laughs> my huh? my most experience has always been tomatoes. I've been growing tomatoes since I was, you know, seven years old. So I've been growing them over. Wow, I'm getting really old. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> add anymore. <laughs> that's like 40 years worth of growing. That's 40 some years. Wow, that's crazy. Wow. That's good. That is that's experience and knowledge all that right there. I I started gardening when I was a little young. I was very young because my next door neighbor, um, my father said, if anybody talks to you, make sure you talk to them back. Look them in the eye because they don't have to talk to you. Uh, they're talking to you because they they're they're important to you. So you should be important to them. So my neighbor would come over, he had a farm, and I would always listen to him. He always talked about gardening, and I learned a lot about gardening. And uh, he used cow manure. That was his main source. But you got to see this guy's field. was so rich. It was unbelievable. Okay, let's give this. Let's, uh, let's do these draws really quick so we go back to talking. First winner. Could you guys see this on your side, by the way? Yes. Okay. Because I don't... When I'm on change in here, I don't. Greg Bryson's first winner. Congratulations to Greg Yay, Bryson. Greg. Yay. Second winner. Next week. Uh, oh, I saw Jan. Ooh. Rick. Rick Yay, won. Rick. Oh, yes. So Rick got denied seeds last time I sent to him. They sent him a letter and everything because you can't send them. Um, I got to figure out a different way to send Rick seeds because mm. they can, yeah, they got problems with the government coming at them. Oh, Can't wow. receive seeds from the U.S. from to Australia. Oh yeah. So I got to figure a way around that. Rick <laughs> Adventures, congratulations! So make sure you guys email me and email me tonight, please. Otherwise, stuff doesn't go out into the next week. <laughs> because I really don't have a chance. So uh, this is tonight's the night to get me get everything out, or actually into envelopes and everything. The educated natural, awesome. Congrats. Congratulations. It's the marshmallow man. I like that. Congratulations. Full <laughs> channel name. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Congratulations, Lewis. Five more winners. Five more winners. 
Adventures with the Outdoor Eagle. Congratulations. Oh. Adventure of the Mama. Congratulations. Woo -woo. Three last three winners for this segment. Disabled and prepping. All right. <laughs> last two, last two. Barb's country Great. home. Wow. Thank you, Barb. Congratulations. Oh. Mike's chaotic order. <laughs> Mike is so lucky. You know always when I get called, which doesn't happen very often, I'm always like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, whoa. Yeah, Mike is unbelievable with these contests. It's like, I can't believe he wins like almost every single time. So he's but, our competition? Yeah. <laughs> he's blessed. <laughs> I've never won know. once on those. And then you have, uh, you know, Jan here. Who's won like only once on a channel in all five years? Oh no! <laughs> and Tony Kathleen Walsh. Tony won. Walsh is another one. Tony Kathleen Walsh won, won like Fall Fest last year. Oh, and I've won quite a few seats from Joe. I had I had to stop. <laughs> like, no more seats. No more seats. That's funny. And you guys, it just email everybody that won. No matter what, if you won five, six, I ten, twenty buddy. times. Email me, please email me because I match everybody everything up. So just no matter what, email me. Even if I know your address and I have it, just email me. Do it again because I don't want I don't really have the time to search. So when I see it on paper, bam bam, I just write it. I'm on. I'm on to the next thing. On to the next thing. On to the next thing. Because right. when you, we usually mail out about thirty things. You know, it's not just one or two or three things. So it's a lot, a lot of winners. Hey, what life is here? Welcome, there, welcome in, Robert Bates. These garden adventures. Thank you guys all for coming. There's Huga Homestead, and I'm still laughing with Huga Homestead because when she goes in alive, hey Higgy, no. <laughs> Higgy's here. I'm like, no, it's not Higgy. Yeah, you got <laughs> it's Huga, Huga. You know. <laughs> It's Odom's Homestead is here. Welcome in. There's Serena, Indiana Backyard Gardener. Welcome in, guys. And if I missed anybody, I'm sorry. I just missed you. <laughs> it happens when you do a lot that really goes fast. So uh, how about plant diseases? Do you guys actually, like, have you guys researched plant diseases at all? Or are you guys still, like, in a... You know, after all the years I've been doing this, I still have a problem because by the time I walk outside and come to the house, I already forgot what I even looked at. <laughs> but the today, take a picture, you right? camera, bring your bring your phone, bring your out phone to the garden, so you could actually. And there's apps all over the place that yeah, you could yeah, actually yeah. find your plant diseases. So yeah, that's for sure. Thing. Now, how do you guys research? plant diseases or did you say oh man <laughs> i just died i don't know what happened we're on to the I next had a little something going on with them last year i know when you have a problem you're supposed to not leave the plant in there to infect it the space for next year so um i did get a few tomatoes but it wasn't my best tomato year the year before that i had tomatoes running out of my ears so a little something going on but I pulled all the pieces of all of it out. So I, I don't think I ever researched it. I just, you know, just didn't have a lot of tomatoes. I had some, but not a lot. Yeah. I, it's not that I have researched it. It's just that I, I live with people that have been raising these tomatoes for years on this property. And the important thing for them is rotating those tomatoes. You never, you never plant your tomatoes in the same place twice. You want to move them to a different area and you can come back after a couple of years, but if you have to rotate your tomatoes and actually a lot of plants, you don't want to grow that same thing in that same spot because you might 
if I pick up something that a disease that I got last year, and then it just carries over into the same year. So but that's, that's something that I've learned from older people okay. farming this land as long as they have. So rotate. <laughs> it's very important. Uh, rotating is important. <clears throat> I usually go to one of my gardening groups that Gary's the one, the really, the main person that I've gone to, to just type in. And he always has a solution to how to get rid of whatever pest is on your. And that's Gary yeah. Polarczyk, by the way. So that's who Tina was referring to. I believe, yeah. right? Gary the Polarczyk. Rusted, the rusted garden. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So we're looking, he's probably going to be on a grow big TV soon. So we're going to work out a date. So it's going to be good to have Gary on. Um, work, welcome in um, How to Garden and MB Heritage Farms. Good to see you guys. Um, yeah, Gary's been also on Garden State Gardener. He did a live here um, last year, so which is pretty awesome. Absolutely. Um, He's a wealth of knowledge. I have his book. So, yes. Yep. And we're in the same, we're pretty much in the same zone. So, yeah. That's but, huh? That's really helpful. It is helpful. Yeah. yeah. So I haven't really had any um, bug issues or disease issues with my plants. The only thing I've had is um, tomato bottom end rot back when I first uh, farming. And that's just more or less pretty much just sitting and watering. So um, besides that, we don't really have like bugs. A lot of times that ha that happens to your uh, San Marzano peppers, your paste tomatoes. You get the bottomless rotten nose. But yeah, between that and calcium, you know, what you're talking about with the water, that's been the biggest issue with bottomless rot. Yeah. Um, but I'm telling you, the camera is the best thing, or your phone is the best thing for diseases right now. And using an app, I'm like, oh, that's what it is. Identifying, identifying insects, another thing, you know? Um, that's very important. Oh, what is this? This good guy? This the bad guy? Right. Um, that's very important because again, I I see a bug. A couple seconds, I already have no idea what it looked like. <laughs> um, you know, so you get your camera. Oh, take it out, then you could research it. You know, that's important. That's good to learn. Yeah, yeah. I remember the first time I found um, a hornworm on my tomato plant. Have you ever found one of those before? And okay. I was like, well, I looked at it. I'm like, what are all these things sticking up, you know, out of this thing? So I took it, I had my glove on and I took it and I threw it. Well, little <laughs> did I know that when they, those are like wasp eggs or something. And when they hatch, they actually will kill the hornworm. So I didn't even need to bother it because it would have been killed by these little wasp things. So yeah. But now I know and I look out for them, you know? I don't have those. I'm so glad. <laughs> They're creepy. Well, if you do. They are creepy, Heather. If, yeah. <laughs> if you, you could really find them very easy. You got to find their yeah. droppings. So yeah. you, you'll yeah. notice the leaves all getting eaten. Then you look for the poop droppings and see yeah. where, where you can yeah. find them. Then you got to, you know, what you got to do is find a kid in your neighborhood. You know, your kid in the family. Hey, if you can find it, I'll give you five bucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And just put it to a different section of the garden. You know, that's not going to get bothered. So now, are yeah. they mostly like an East Coast kind of thing? No, I think they've been all so. over the place. Yeah. I, they're all over. Just like squash bugs are all over too. Yeah. But we don't have them in Oregon. You don't have squash bugs? No, we don't have the hornworm. Um, the hornworm. Uh, yeah. Now, one of the best things, what I do between each tomato plant and put, is put basil. First for the pollinators yeah. to, you. you know, go around. If, second, it smells really good. And ever since I planted between each tomato plant, mm -hmm. I have never had a horn, hornworm since. So I'm going to do the basil out there. Um, I haven't, I didn't plant it because I need to add some more of this mushroom soil. But that is my goal is to put basil with my tomatoes this year. And that's a great snack, a little sprig of basil and some tomato. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the mozzarella or the feta cheese with a little olive oil. And Well, that's a little bit more difficult unless you bring a whole container. 
I meant as a salad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was talking, walking through. We walking through and picking and eating it? Yeah. Yep. Now, if you have a small section and you can't rotate anywhere, just make sure you add compost because you want your mic micros to work. If you have good, if you have healthy micro micros in your garden, your rotate everything, everything's going to be healthy for you. Yeah, and just make and pull out your tomato plants at the end of the year and just add some kind of cover. You want cover, so add your leaves. You should always have something covered on your soil. Yeah. So if you guys could do that, that's a very beneficial. Yeah, so adding stuff to your soil in the fall when you're done gardening, like the leaves and whatever. Yeah, that's a good idea because then it has all the winter to kind of break down and whatnot into your areas. Yeah. All the all, all the pepper roots, every any kind of root, you don't want those insects to go down there and stay there alive all year. That's where they keep coming back. So Ooh. they go in the ground, they stay in there because they have a little living condition, they can survive. And then, you know, they're mm -hmm. there. They're not leaving. So pull those out. And, uh, burn them. Oh. <laughs> burn them. <laughs> last year, last year, some animal got it. I don't know if it was a deer. I don't think it was. I think it was the groundhogs because they've dug underneath and came up and got a hold of my um, cayenne pepper plant. It was some animal. So yeah. one morning when, when I went out there to go water, I looked at my plant and I took a picture and I'm like, what is all this? I posted it in a group and they're, oh, it looks like an animal threw up. So whatever that was, didn't like cayenne peppers and got sick. I had white oh. flies on my cayenne peppers last year. Did you really, Gail? Oh, my. Oh, yeah. I don't have those either. <laughs> so. Uh, learning from all you guys. About Heather in her bugless, bugless society over here. Yeah. <sighs> You've got to have white flies up there. Well, not on my property. Well, I'm glad you don't. If, I don't know. Maybe it's because I do my own um, composting. I I don't know. White yeah. flies are white flies are so hard to get at. Once they're in a garden, it's like you can't get rid of them. It seems they just want to pester there, and they love it. It's so hard. You don't want to use seven and all the other crap, and you're putting, you're growing, you're trying to grow healthy food. Why yeah. are you gonna put? Why are you putting stuff on it that kills? Just thinking that you're gonna eat the stuff that kills insects, it doesn't make sense. They to only me. wanted the cayenne peppers, though. They didn't touch anything else. Well, that's weird. Mm -hmm. I know, and it wasn't even the very beginning of the season. By the time they got to them, I had already harvested a lot of cayenne mm -hmm. peppers just off of that one plant. So one of the healthiest vegetables you could grow is kale, right? One of the mm -hmm. best, most nutritionist. Well, the and even included in a, a great organic section in your uh in your store, 92% has stuff on it that you don't want to eat. No. 92%. Oh, like pesticides, other stuff yeah. is on your kale. 92%. So you're telling all these people eat kale, eat kale, eat kale, and what you're doing is eating pesticides and other crap on it. Dunk. So that's the reason why you want to grow your own. You might have to get some potato chips. <laughs> Mine's well. Or a soda. Maybe a donut. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. It's so crazy. Uh, it's really disheartening scary to know all. That we know, I'm sure most of us know all that about all that stuff, you know. And so I just, I, I like, I enjoy, and I like that we're all like sharing and teaching with each other. All yeah. these, and I pay attention to your guys's hornworms because who knows? Maybe they'll come over here someday. So now I know. No, between I between hornworms, Japanese beetles, anybody else have those out there? Yeah, we get we have those every year. They tear up my mother in law's roses. Yeah. So wow. I have roses and the deer and nothing but yeah. oh no, the deer eat the roses, the the 
beetles, right. or I th think we call them Asian beetles, I think. Yes. And they're very beautiful, but they just, they start popping out and they eat everything. Yeah. So. I have some of those in Oregon, but I haven't seen any so far um, on my property. So I don't know. I'm always looking. I always notice when there's something odd or misplaced or different or whatever when I'm outside. My, I'm like an eagle. I'm like, what's that? You know? <laughs> well, that's so funny because I was walking out there and it's it was a beautiful sunset. I don't know if my pictures are going to do it justice, but it wasn't dusk, but it wasn't dark. It was a little beyond dusk. Does that even make sense? And believe it or not, we need to, I don't know about you, Joe, but it's time to mow the lawn out here. And I heard something in the grass. And I jumped because the last thing I want to do is run into a snake out there. Right. Cause I can't see like it's, I just, I couldn't see it was not. Yeah. So. Well, that's another thing. Y'all have snakes. I don't have, do. I have garden snakes and that's it. Yeah. We oh. have copperheads. So yeah. do we. Yeah. I've only seen one the whole entire time I've lived here. So thank God. Now, in Florida, we had rattlesnakes. Now up here, at least they warned you. It, in Florida with a rattle, but up here it's like, oh, oh, look, look, there's a snake that just went past my foot. And it's yeah. a good head. At least you guys don't have anaconda. <laughs> no, no, but uh, Florida, when I lived in Florida, we did. Um, yeah. My, my husband one time caught one. It was, if I remember correctly, I think he measured it. It was 22 feet long. And um, we were able, he gave it to somebody, gave it away to somebody who, who, who raised them. But that thing lived on my back porch for oh, three days. It was huge. No, thank you. I don't think I'd leave the house. Exactly. <laughs> well, you couldn't get, you couldn't go through the porch out to the back patio because it was in this thing. And my husband loves snakes. And thankfully, he loved his children more and he got rid of all his snakes. But he brought this snake home and he's like, oh, we should keep it. We could build a cage. And I'm like, no. I just had to look oh, yeah. at the picture. So that's that's the things that we dealt with with Florida. And I like it here. It's much better. But then um, if you guys uh, have heard some of my stories, my mother-in-law swears she saw a cougar in the backyard. So I haven't caught anything, any pictures of it yet. I've got all my cameras up and I haven't caught anything. A cougar, huh? Yeah. Wow. Mountain lion, puma. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Now, have you guys ever had, uh, one second, where is it? Uh, Japanese beetles. Do you guys ever had get those? Yes. What do they if look like? If, just, hold on. You know what? Let me look it up because a lot of people have this problem. <laughs> And once I once I moved into our house here 15 years ago, first thing I did was put down milky spore, and I have never seen a Japanese beetle since. Milky so, spore. I'm writing that down. Uh, this is. It's called yeah. See Japanese milky beetle spore. spore. Okay. Interesting. And so a lot of people have problems with Japanese beetles and you never get rid of them. No. You buy this stuff, it is expensive. And you every four feet you walk, you put a little down. Every four feet, put a little down. And they just spread and never had a problem since. Absolutely unbelievable stuff. Um, it's a one-time application, it says. Um, if Jane or um, Jay Dixon could find the link for that, put that in a link for everybody to check it out. Um, again, it's very, very expensive. <laughs> and was, uh, that's fine. What, what are you giving about? <laughs> the um, prepper 101 says, I've seen a Volkswagen beetle, but never a Japanese beetle. <laughs> 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 I just I read that, and just chuckled. That's all. Uh, oh. All right. Well, I've got to go put my chickens away. I'm watching them. I've got three that get out and they're walking back and forth in front of the fence. So I got to go let them. Back in, I'll be back. Okay. Yeah. So, Everybody needs to put their garden jokes, like, let us be friends. Go. Heather, again, with let us be friends. Let us be friends. Yes. <laughs> That's all I got. And I, I, don't, I don't have any garden jokes. Oh, you, and you know what? Serena's here. Serena, I... 
I got Serena to say joke only joke at the end of the chat because Serena jokes the whole chat. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Okay. Uh, so this is a Japanese beetle. Oh. So that's what the Japanese beetle looks like. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Here's one. Let us turn up the beat. You got it. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I just Googled it. I didn't realize there's all these websites for for garden jokes. Oh no. Now you're gonna, you're gonna be and my, my son's dog is like staring at me like, what is your problem? <laughs> I'm like, let us be friends. That's all I got. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah. That's uh, funny. Indiana Backyard Gardener, yes. I put it exactly where I was gonna plant too. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> Uh, Jay Dixon just put what is milky spore. And so uh, you guys could check out that link. Best, uh, it's the, I, I think it's the best thing I ever bought for my garden. Because <laughs> that totally wrecks it, wrecks it, it totally destroys everything. So, um, and Serena actually had a, she said something here. Hold on. Oh, Food Forest Permaculture is here. Welcome in, Howie. Uh, I had squash bugs last year after the Australians died. So, and yeah. you know what? Since Howie's here, Howie's a perfect person. If you guys okay. keep on using your layers, 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 and layers and layers, you won't get these insects as bad as you think. Because you want your, um, you want your food force. You want everything to just, just to link together. Well, so, that's why I don't have as many bugs. Exactly. You use your layers. Mm -hmm. It's just so important. You, you can't just garden and expect everything to look perfect. You got to have, we got to have life in a garden. Yeah. I'd love to hang out with Howie for like a week and just following him around on whatever he does. Cause like he knows so many things. So uh, mountain grandma, how to use milky spore. It comes like in a powder. And you just put it on the ground. Just throw it on the ground every four feet you walk. Walk four feet, put it down every every four feet. No, stop. Um, let me see. See if there's any other questions. Good to see Tammy. Tammy, prayers out to your family. Hopefully everybody's feeling better every day. Um, let me see. The budget Preppers is here. Hello, Natasha. Now, what do you do for squash bugs? I've been, I ask that question every single person I meet. <laughs> and nobody really has a direct answer. Um, My answer is always the same. Plant marigolds with your squash. And that works for me. And you can grow calendula as well. Does the same thing. That's my companion plant. And I don't have squash bugs and I don't have vine borers and none of that stuff. And I, I believe I asked that question to Howie, and he doesn't have that problem. I think it all comes down to is layers, layers, layers. Listen, so I think um, plants, herbs, lots of herbs, different stuff everywhere. You know, that comes back, stuff that, you know, only grows seasonally, herbs. Okay. Yeah. There's like, Jay Dixon. I really so, haven't had to deal with with the squash bug though, to be honest, but I don't grow a lot of squash here too. We're not big eaters of it. So yeah, she's back. Hello. So I think two years ago, I grew 48 squash plants and that was pretty insane. I fed the whole gym. I fed everybody in the neighborhood. I fed, you know, everybody Mark. I had like baseball bats. I had some pictures of it. I bet people are like, oh gosh, Joe's coming. No, <laughs> we have enough. I give you know, him out new garage. bread this week. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a cool. lot of, I mean, that's a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's fun because when I'm Ubering, you have people coming to your car, you know, you got to make sure you hand them out early, not late because somebody might hit them, hit somebody with the squash. Now, one and, thing uh, you're to do with like your zucchini is cut them in slices and dehydrate them and put them in jars because you can later ground them and add a third of that powdered zucchini into your regular flour for baking and cooking. Sounds good. 
and there's That's good so snacks. Good. You can put I a usually feeling. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. So um, I keep, grow a bit I too shred mine up and put it in the freezer. That's what I do. And then add it. Okay. I yeah. add it to food when I cook. I do that. So on Grow Big TV last week, we had pre forest permaculture, and we talked about the pathway soil bank. So when I talk about all those layers, go check out Grow Big TV. Check out the interview with Fruit Forest Pomaculture. Yeah, a good interview. And, uh, and that talks you, you know, like how he's great. What a, he's such such a good guy. Yeah. And it's and he teaches ways that uh, just very easy, specific to what you want. Yeah, it's like pretty down to earth and real. Like you can understand and you can obtain the things that are needed more readily and easily to do the what you need to do. With the way he explains things. Anyways, that's what I get. <laughs> so, hey, Serena, it's a good time for a joke if you want to put a joke up. <laughs> so, since I have uh indiana backer a joke so i picked up my paycheck and there was parsley in an envelope hey they were garnishing my wages <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry about that and thank you mods worry. thank you mods for all information my mods are on it they um, are they're doing great um these are from grow big tv they every time i talk about something it's like they come really well prepared and or they just have general knowledge and bam, information's right there where you guys could just yeah, uh, they're doing great. Yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, Everybody hit that thumbs up. One second, Jay. Oh, Joe is a squash fairy with wings. <laughs> I'm still giving out all kinds of greens to my neighbors. Oh, that's awesome, Wanda. Mm -hmm. There's a meetup. If you guys want to post meetups again, this is all about sharing, guys. You guys have something to share, share it out, and mods can promote it. It's all about connecting, and you know, I love I love people that connect. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're in the first hour. Actually, it's after the first hour. Let's get to the wheel right away. Ooh, yeah. Yarn and stuff like that. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, everyone. So, if you leave a comment, you're put on a wheel. We're also going to have members only. Um, we're going to give out seeds from my gardener starting next week and uh, Maris Heirloom Seeds. And if you guys use at Maris Heirloom Seeds, if you just use Grow Big, you get 10% off. And at and my gardener, if you use hashtag Grow Big, you get 10% off there too. And plus, if you spend nice. $18 at my gardener, you get free shipping and $20 free shipping at, at Maris Heirloom Seeds. So thank you. To, uh, thank you for those two uh, businesses to uh help us out so and hopefully hopefully it helps you guys out at the same time so first thing we're gonna give away and again guys jan has never really won <laughs> won once in five years just wanted to point that out we're gonna give away the goat let's crochet it nice so that away uh let me see i just saw plant marjoram to keep the squash bugs away Yes, I saw that too. Awesome. <laughs> we got a, a pound of love. This is red. What okay. is it? A pound of love. Okay. Yarn. So it's it's yeah. yarn. Because we're yeah. crafty. We're giving away to the crafty people in here. And if you don't want you go if you don't want yarn or anything, you can always choose seeds. So if you win, you can win seeds. Um we got a couple of things of this yarn here. That's a red too. Yeah, nice. Let's give like those a couple away. We're gonna give away the herbal handbook. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, that's a I nice like book. That. I have it. And you have that, Gail? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mindful, uh, mindful cooking book, which is really cool. Very nice. So that'll be your first series of gifts. So the basic uh, herbs and a recipe and what they're good for. So it's really that's cool. awesome. I like that. Ooh, look at those. Look at them all flying. Yeah. Oh, I, I saw like all the, um, I don't know, on the side of the wheel. 
I was shuffling. I'm shuffling. I'm shuffling. So if you are a member, if you are a, uh, uh, I'm trying to remember my, I got both things on my mind now for Grow Big in this channel. If you are a, a Joseph's Journey member, you're put on three times. If you are a um, Superhero Club member, you're put on two times. And you're a Jelly Bean member, you're put on once. If you leave a comment in the registration video, you get put on again. So if you're a Joseph's Journey member, you're on four times if you left a comment, which is pretty cool. So I'm shuffled. Okay, first thing we're giving away, let's give away the goat. So good luck, everyone. You got to be in the chat to win. That's the key, though. If you're not in the chat, you can't win. You only got five minutes to claim your prize. And it's not the time yet. Oh, I'm Grammy Square. Woohoo! Way to go! I don't think she is here, but you never know because we always have lurkers. Red Pound of Love. Congratulations, Mary's Fiber Creations. Awesome. Congratulations. So, guys, I can't see it on my end. If they come in the chat and let me let me know if they claim it. If you guys win, you got to say, I'm here, I'm here, I want it, or I want it. And everybody will tell me if you're here. So we got the other red yarn. You got a couple of things of these yarn. So good luck, everyone. I have a whole bunch in the bag. I'm not going to make a comment. Three or four or five next Crafty 333. I think Terry is here. Congratulations! So I'm not sure. We'll find out in a second, but congrats. Uh, Mary's Fiber Creations here. So Mary won. So she went. Mary. So Mary got the red, uh, the red pound of love. Now we're looking for Terry. Terry Crafty three three three. Awesome. So let me know if you guys find that and find them in a the chat. But congratulations to Mary. Mary's been with this channel for a long, long time. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, mindful cooking book. Ooh 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 ooh. Maybe it'll be Jan. So good luck. So we're looking for Terry. There she is. Terry's here. Angela Wright. Congrats. So uh, Terry is in the chat. So congratulations to Terry. She is here. And I believe Angela Wright is here too. So I'm not sure. We'll find out in a couple seconds. But congratulations to Angela Wright. You won the Mindful Cooking Book. So if you guys see if Angela comes in, let me know. Okay, the Herbal Handbook. Herbal. This is a really good book. Uh, this I, I thank you, Gal, for telling everybody about the book. Herbs are a friend of the position and a pride. Of the having fun. Dawn and Holla having fun. Congrats on. Can you imagine how many people that hear that music that are like dancing? Yeah, I don't know. It kind of got me dizzy moving my head too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Angela Wright is here. Oh, so awesome. Congratulations. congratulations, Angela Wright. And so we just need to know if Dawn and Hala is having fun. I mean, is Dawn and Holla have is here? I can't even talk. I'm exhausted, guys. 
It's, it's been a long hard. weekend. It's I got eight yes. hours sleep in three days is not a lot. <laughs> no, that's not. That's not good, Joe. If you guys ever hear me talk and I start to mumble like I am now, you guys know I'm just tired. There it is. Dawn and Hollis hey, here. That's Yay. awesome. That's so we wonderful. got four, we got four out of five winners. The goat looks like it's going to go back. I don't think uh, oh, I'm Granny Square is here. So congratulations to those winners. And we're going to come back for more prizes here and giving out more seeds, so, which is really cool. Um, we have 106 people total in the chat right now, which is pretty cool. Awesome. Wow. Um, Woo cool. So let me just go to some questions. How do you, what do you think the most important thing to consider when caring for a garden? Amending your soil. Yeah, I'd have to say so too, because you, you have to put in fertilizer. You have to make up for what your soil lacks. So yeah, I think that's important. Got to sing to it. Oh, okay. Singing I thought helps. about doing that. <laughs> don't think I know is I got to make sure I don't go out and nude gardening day because everything will die. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. So Joe made this video about two years ago where he's not wearing a shirt and you just see this much of him and he's talking about <laughs> naked gardening day. Just like past the butter with a completely straight face, and you're just rolling, laughing in the video, like, "Oh my gosh, Joe!" I was going to do a video, but I took it out. I was going to start showing like my foot, and then like go up like my my cat, and be like, "Just kidding." Yeah, I got in trouble for that from my wife, by the way. <laughs> that video. <laughs> I told you, don't do it again. So for the second year in a row, <laughs> people in my school are going to watch that. That's <laughs> I got to find that video. That was great. <laughs> I got to find that right now. I'm going to see. You guys talk away for a little bit. I got to find that video. I paid on it. said to me the most important being out there paying attention. No. True. Okay wrong or right if it's right be happy yay if it's wrong try to figure out what's wrong yeah, yeah. mine kind of falls on the base just you can't just throw a seed in there and think it's going to grow you have to nurture it and love it so it test gardening takes time and it, you have to put in that time and work in order to yeah. have a garden that's really okay. important getting a system down um, on a calendar or a planner or in your head of when you're going to water, when you're going to weed, you know, when you're going to, like, what times, what days are you going to be doing those things? And yeah. keep it? Right? Yeah, I think that, yeah, I think a schedule of watering is really good. You have to. Yeah. Consistency. and everything. Consistency, yep. Yeah. I totally agree. Do any of you guys make your own compost? Yes. Yes. So I started, I have a trash can full of leaves from last year and I've been throwing stuff in it. I need to turn it though. So I, I started doing that. My chickens have been turning mine for me. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So. Gail does. Yep. Yeah, I have a big plastic bin then I have an area of the yard where we compost, and I have a new composting tumbler, um, which I was hoping it would come with a book, like what all to put in there. But I mean, I kind of know, but yeah. it's bigger than I thought. It's actually 43 gallons. Oh, wow. But that compost will need all that time. So that'll probably be actually an investment into next year. Right, right. right. Yeah. I've been composting for about 15 years and we do, oh my gosh, I don't know, many, 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 many yards of compost every year. Um, we raise Dexter cows and so in the summertime we collect the cow poop. <clears throat> and then I'm always adding like veggie, the sticks and plant, you know, plant matter, live plant matter, grass, cardboard, everything, you name it. Um, 
we have this bucket in the house, which we call the chum bucket, which will be like leftover scraps or whatever from dinner. And then, so that gets put in there and just all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And turning it and turning it and keeping it on a big heap. I kind of like, um, imagine it kind of like a, a lasagna. So all the layers and just, right. just keep doing the layers of all the things and adding a little water as you go. If it needs some water. Okay. You guys ready for this? <laughs> Yes. It's funny finding something from a couple of years ago. All right. So this is two years ago. <laughs> Let's check this out. Sorry. Funny. Well, welcome to Nude Gardening Day. <laughs> and this is the closest I'm getting nude. There's, there's no way I'm getting nude. Nobody wants to see a fat old guy. <laughs> Outside gardening nude. So what is Nude Gardening Day? It's the first Saturday in May every year. So if we see anybody in the buff, we're just celebrating the day. <laughs> Let it be. But you know, you will never see me more than a t-shirt off for a nude gardening day. And I think many people will be very happy for that. <laughs> Here and some tips. So, you know, this time of year in early May, <laughs> uh, some people may be, you know, showing off their carrots or other vegetables or their cabbages in the garden. <laughs> penalized or penalized for not gardening on this day. It's the time to show off your garden. You could be either planting your bush tomatoes, or maybe your eater peppers. Or maybe, you know, you want to grow your German Johnson. <laughs> I hope you guys are getting a good crack out of this. And with protection, protection, protection. Because you don't want your bum to be bummed uh, or your Peter peppers burned. You know, so wear your sunscreen. You know, also use your backyard. You definitely don't want to be gardening in your, you know, buff in the front yard. You don't want your neighbor seeing you. They could be calling the police or something. So make sure <laughs> you're in a backyard. Nobody sees you. And maybe, you know, it's it's great if you go gardening in the buff with your partner. <laughs> Um, you also want to make sure your garden is nice and clean. So clean up your backyard. You don't want to be pricked by something <laughs> uh, very sharp out there. So uh, make sure you clean your garden up and get ready for this summer season. Now, even Walt Whitman, I want to say a quote from Walt Whitman. Perhaps indeed he or she to whom the free, exhilarating ecstasy of nakedness in nature has never been eligible. And how many thousands there are that has not really known not really known what purity is, nor what faith of art really is. So naked gardening has been going on forever. Uh, if you're ashamed about it. So it's your own body. Appreciate what you have. And another, another thing for safety is make sure you're not using your head trimmer in a nude. Mistakes do happen. And one last thing. Make sure you bring props out. So you could bring your flamingo watering can <laughs> or other attic protection. Everybody... You know, this video could be either titillating or very disgusting. But everybody enjoy their day and have fun and enjoy each other and laugh at each other and communicate. You know, communication is everything. So, everyone, <laughs> happy Naked Gardening Day. Have a blast. Be safe. Take care. Have fun. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Here he is. <laughs> That's a tearful moment. <laughs> so, let me ask you, after you did that video, what did you tell yourself? <laughs> I hope my son's not watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Boy. Woo. There's another one in there somewhere. <laughs> but now it's uh I'm I'm matured. <laughs> I'll have to do another one of those. And uh, uh after I did that video, um yeah, I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this channel is for. <laughs> Y'all cheered up, man. <laughs> um, uh, who is Awesome Wicked Gardening did a video after that. Yeah, and I remember she, that one. And she hit it big after that, after I did the, my video. <laughs> hey, it was like, oh, it's all about views at the time. What could he do to get more views? And, you know, you want to do the same thing as everybody. You want to do something different. So and that's that always... Challenge? That's a challenge, yeah. <laughs> everybody got to make an awesome. Everybody got to make one of those videos this year. <laughs> and Gil, you're a part of it. What part of what? <laughs> <laughs> we got to do a naked gardening day collab. <laughs> I think good. That would be awesome. I'm. That's going to bring me to tears, too, after seeing that. The funny part was when he started cracking himself up while talking. <laughs> that was funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah, and if you're like Mike's chaotic gardening, it's, it's, it's a lot colder north than New, than New Jersey. <laughs> Got to be careful of that date in certain sections, you pure guy. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, geez. Um, thank you, guys. There's 104 people watching. Thank That's you, awesome. guys. We appreciate that. Um, I see awesome. some people in the chat that up for that same challenge, I do believe. Also, I use this other stuff that's organic. It's called Surround. And Surround <sighs> has been my one of my best friends um, <laughs> through Conquer and Conquer. I, you know, you get certain insects or you getting leaf damage and you have no idea what it is. This, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a clay. It's organic that you put on your leaves and mm -hmm. the insects come to it and they like take a bite and they're like, ah, oh, this is disgusting. I don't want this stuff. And they just leave the plant alone. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is all your pepper plants, tomato plants or whatever you want to grow, um, they grow nice and healthy. They put a lot of fruit trees now. And so nothing it. touches the fruit. The thing is, is um, it, it's it's called it's great. I love it. It's called surround. And so if you guys could take a look at that, just put it in YouTube, surround, and uh, it's it's also very expensive. But a lot of places are really using that because it's organic. You don't want this pesticides. You don't want that stuff on your plants. <laughs> Uh, Brampton Gardner says you need um, the um, bottle of self tanner. <laughs> hey, in New Jersey, we got the spray tan. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was a good one. Susan, uh, non plant people don't understand that a bag of soil is an acceptable gift. 100%. Yes. yes. I'll take soil any day. So yeah, in my family, we get a... Uh, things, and I was excited about it. Yes. So in my family, around, you know, Christmas time, everybody can get a group with somebody, and the amount we have to spend on a person is $100, right? A lot of money for, you know, whoever you're going to pick. And every year I get soil. <laughs> yeah, but that's Obviously. great. That's a great gift. And wow. so everybody goes, where, where am I going to get that? You know? <laughs> and I just tell them, go to Ace Hardware. Those are both great gifts. I agree. Yeah. And for example, this is one of the bags I got. Oh, that's, that's cool. I like that bag. Nice. 
So it's seed state starting mix, mycorrhizal and humic acid, which you want in your plants. And it's by, it's light, it's called the light work. It's by uh, Fox Farm. Okay. The only thing about this soil, it has a lot of. <laughs> the hillbilly chicken ranch said she just wet her plants. <laughs> oh, that's classic. Oh. Uh, what till she does that naked garden activity hill collab? <laughs> <laughs> it's very, there's got a lot of her light in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I don't really like about it. I think that's way too much. But mm -hmm. then you just mix it with something else. Yeah. So that's the way yeah. I look at it. Right. I mean, these things come in really big chunks. That's good to know. But very good soil. But I, I would mix it with something else. <laughs> just like... Uh, do I'm I... telling you guys, really look into biochar. Biochar is going to, you add that, you add biochar and activate it with microbes or your compost. You guys are creating something that you guys will stay there the whole time instead of leaking all over the place. You want that. Uh, my biggest thing is adding microbes to the garden. So, like, I got this microbe brew. Ooh. And so I'm adding as many microbes from, Whatever I could figure out, I'm adding to my my garden. That's terrible. That's all microbes. Wow. That's a lot of different thingies. Joe, yeah, didn't you have a guest on that talked about fish emulsion? No, no. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Something in there, yes. But I'm not. So I'm not exactly I went to sure. Walmart because they said you could buy that. At Walmart, but it wasn't the fish emulsion. It was like the fish fertilizer. So I get home with the jug of it. It's solid. It's not. It's supposed to be a liquid. It's completely well, solid. Good. So I don't know if it's old or what. It should be. It might be old. It yeah. should be a smelly, dark kind of creamy. Yeah, it was dark, but it wasn't liquid. I'm wondering if it will once you maybe oh it comes in powder, and then once you put it with the water, Gail, maybe it will. Yeah, I couldn't even get it out of the jug, so oh, I just no. took my hose and filled it up till it hit the top and then poured it into a pitcher and then uh, put some more water in there, and I went ahead and just tried to use it. Yeah. Uh, Jay Dixon, I live in Jackson, New Jersey. Uh, I work down ashore, Point Pleasant, Matasquan area, and uh, just think of the Jersey Shore. I'm not too far from the Jersey Shore uh down at the beach, but I I live by Great Adventure, which is basically in the center of the state, a little south of the center of the state. So, which is really cool. Um, but I'm all over the place in New Jersey. New Jersey is a great place to live. Um, depending on what's every every single town is different. Every every it's it's so weird around here with that. But uh, we have some of the best food now in New Jersey. It looks like you lived in the country, kind of. Yeah, it's different than you can even imagine. Middlesex County. So Suzanne, she's from Middlesex County. I grew up in Middlesex County. I grew up in Spotswood, New Jersey. So, so welcome to the channel, Suzanne. Love it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's nice when you start meeting. I met some people down at Jersey Shore, and they're like, are you Garden State Gardener? Hey, <laughs> and I'm like, yes, I am. It's the greatest feeling in the world when you meet people that you don't expect. That's awesome. Hey, Christine. Um, there's Christine. Miss Gillian Farms. Awesome. Okay, guys, we're going to go to give out some seeds quick. We'll get some more questions. I guess it's already 830. Yeah. Time's, well, time's really flying by really fast. Because mm -hmm. we got some other questions to ask. So you guys just stay with me for a little bit. We're going to give out these seeds as fast as we can. Um, let me see. Where's the StreamYard giveaway tool? And thank you guys for all for coming on. I appreciate it. Yeah, so thank you. Bye. Welcome. Thanks for inviting us. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everybody. Good luck. So it's hashtag, hashtag naked gardening day. <laughs>
<laughs> if you spell it wrong, I can't help you out, guys. <laughs> I hope I spelled it right. <laughs> it looks it looks right. <laughs> so you guys see it on your end? Because I can't see the chat. So, but you guys see it in the chat, right? Naked Guardian Day. Okay, here's mm -hmm. the entries. are starting to pop up. Okay, we're good. Yeah. So yep. we're going to give yep. 10 winners a chance to win some seeds. And usually I send a... And if you guys want any of those contest seeds, let me know. The only thing is Dr. Waichi Tomato and the Peter Pepper. I'm only going to give you five seeds. Everything else just comes in packets. But I had orders order the Peter Peppers and Dr. Waichi separate. So it's a lot of money, guys. So I got to... Absolutely. Yeah. So we're... Yes, to go that way. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Ian's letting the dog out behind me. If he can get through there. Is yeah. that the boy? That's not, that's Ian. That's my nephew. Oh, okay, well it's a boy. That's the boy. <laughs> yep. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay, guys, here goes the first winner. Good luck, everyone. You guys can still enter when we're doing this. So who's gonna be the first winner? Here we are. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Who's going to be the winner? Indiana Backyard Gardener. Congratulations. <laughs> it's so funny. It passes by Jan's name real slow. I know. Did you see that too? <laughs> Poor Jan. Uh, I was going to yell her name. <laughs> <laughs> Riverdale Gardens. Oh, Jan, I feel for Jan. <laughs> Maybe she's saving up and it'll be like something that she really, really, really wants. Ooh, yeah. Yay. And you know what? We did a giveaway and it was a Burpee Grow Lights. And it was won by Huga Homestead. Oh, wow. That's and it was like a $500 gift. Wow. You know, one of our gifts that we gave away. And we also gave away $400 gift certificate uh, one year, and Andale Homestead won that. So we did a, nice. we had a seat in a month club, and that's yeah. how we generated money to give out to you guys yeah. for a big prize. Right. That's and hopefully we'll do that again soon, but right now I just don't have the time to figure that out. But once I do, we'll do it again. That's when money flows. John Brinkworth! Congrats! Congrats. What a last name. That's cool. Brinkworth. <laughs> that is a cool name. Lulu's Treasure Trove. Hey, congratulations. congratulations. Make sure you guys email me, please, uh, every single time you win. So if you win 10 times here tonight, you email me 10 times. Oh, purple tea congratulations, bear. Purple yes. Tea Bear. Hey. Oh, oh really? cool. Marion Craft, yay! Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations, Marianne's Yarn and Crafts. It always messes with me before it picks the one. <laughs> I'm still waiting for Jan. <laughs> Much chaotic. Mike, <laughs> Mike is the luckiest man in the world. That's Congratulations, funny. Mike. I wonder how many seeds he has won for me. <laughs> I so love it. He probably doesn't buy any. 2%. 2%. He buys a lot of seeds. Don't, don't, don't let the win in fool you. He keeps buying the seeds. And his wife buys him seeds too. I seen that video. <laughs> Congratulations, two percent. Don't you know? Don't, don't you know? Don't you know? So congratulations to the seed winners there. I forgot I have something board. on the stove. I'll be right back. Okay. We're gonna give away a couple more winners in the next twenty minutes too, which is pretty cool. Uh, becoming a member of this channel has its benefits. 
Uh, I really appreciate everyone there that's been doing that for a long, long, long time. And hope you guys enjoy that membership. And it's hopefully it pay, has paid uh, dividends for you. Um, and also, guys, don't be afraid to share each other out. We want people to become part of a community. Yeah. Um, um, this is our. This is mine. Connect and grow. Like, uh, yeah. There we go. Can yeah. we go? Shuffle, there shuffle, ready. Shuffle, shuffle. Um, connecting. Cooper Chat has his, his connect and grow. To me, this is my connect and grow. So you guys can share each other and uh, connect and grow your own channel. Because yeah. the stronger you is the stronger me. That's the way I look at it. That's right. Anybody who says you only can watch my channel and that's it, you know, never mind. That's another discussion from something else. But <laughs> it kind of pesters me when people are like that. And I don't like, I don't like it. Oh, Jan goes... I won. Well, sort of. Jen, no, you didn't even win sort of yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close, Jan. Now, we, we've seen your name glimpsed in the screen, and then it says, no, nada. Nada. We're keeping the streak live. You're like the Lou Gehrig <laughs> baseball. <laughs> next week, next week, you need to create a wheel that just has Jan's name on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Jan wheel. Yeah, it's funny. The Jan wheel. <laughs> Jan. Oh, Jan, look at Jan. Little, <laughs> on and hoping she gets it. <laughs> oh, look at that. 2%. Joe, I gave my C's to Jan. Oh, so Jan oh, did. Oh. She did. Yay. Jan won. Yay. <laughs> so that was emailing. That is awesome. Oh, look at that. One second. Um, one second, I missed it. Well, Jan, congratulations. And Mike, Mike's Chaotic Gardening also donated a set of seeds to Jan. What? Oh, that's lovely. Awesome. This is your lucky day. <laughs> lucky Woo day. Woohoo. Woohoo. <laughs> is donating her seeds to Jan. And wow. so I like I like doing these round table discussions. Oh, look at that. Look at it. She's a big winner. Who go homestead? Send my seeds to Jan, too. <laughs> oh, what a blessing. Jan, I hope you're writing this down. That's three, Jan. That's three. You're the big winner of the night. <laughs> In a different kind of sort of way. <laughs> oh, yeah. And yeah, that's right. In Butler Family Farm, Jan won a pen. So Butler oh, Family awesome. Farm. Eight pens, wood pens, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, woo, woo. Congratulations, Simply Jan. Right? Yeah, those are beautiful pens. Yeah, and it saves me on a postage. <laughs> hey, you know, what, 64 cents a, a thing to send out seeds now? 64 mm -hmm. times 20 just for seeds? Now I only got 17. That's pretty good. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> So uh, we only got about 15 minutes left, guys. What first question is, what has been your biggest failure on your ever on your garden? What was the thing that you looked forward to and it turned out a complete disaster? Blue fart. Corn. Corn. Fart corn. Okay, talk about it a little bit. Expand. Expand. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll go first. We we planted a lot of corn last year and um, fertilized it, spent a lot of time, and um, it didn't rain. And we don't have water out there, so we lost it all. We didn't get any corn. So. Okay, and how about everybody else? Mine was Lufa and everything <laughs> was not successful with Lufa. Three years. I'm done with Lufa. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, three years. Wow. Yeah. But oh, you never first... know. Like the first year I did deal, I wasn't successful. But the second year I did deal, it was as tall as me. So you never know. I mean, you could try that second or third or fourth time and get it right. So... 
maybe maybe don't give up like me <laughs> maybe just take a break a year off and then go at it next year i think if i do it again i want to make sure my seeds are new you know maybe they were all the seeds. yeah that could be part of it maybe mm. i didn't have success with corn either because of ants well, who else didn't have success with corn I, I don't think anybody had, because we went to the farmer's market to get corn last year. Nobody had any. So it wasn't just us. A lot of people didn't grow corn in our area. So, but we're going to grow it again. But this time I'm not going to buy expensive sweet corn. No, corn well, I, corn's a very heavy pollinator. And if I've heard that if there aren't other places growing the corn and stuff, it's very hard to, it's very hard to grow. Um, uh, we well, we grew three pounds. I think it was three pounds of corn. So it's on. I couldn't tell you how big the field was, but it was a massive field, and it took us a long time to seed it and fertilize it. And it was coming up, and it was looking beautiful. But like I said, we didn't get any rain. We don't have any water out there, so it died. But I think that happened to a lot of farmers in our area. So right. Yeah. But I, I went and bought that expensive sweet corn and um, our, what's it called? Just the regular corn, field corn. It was the field corn did much better than the sweet corn. We actually did harvest a couple of uh, ears off of it, but, you know, not as not as much as we had planned. We were looking for hundreds of ears of corn and we only got only got maybe a dozen. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I don't think that anything in the garden is a failure. I think it's an opportunity to ask questions, ask as many people, look in books, read, and try to figure out what, why. You know, Everybody why told me that loof is easy to grow and they just throw it in the ground and don't even water it and have no problems at all. So I don't know what the thing is with loofa. I'm growing okay. it this year, uh, Gail, for the first time. So I'll let you know. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yeah. With corn, you gotta, you got, you can't just plant ten corn plants. You know, we gotta have the wind. They gotta go to the tassel to the other tassel, and it's not like, um, it's funny when you go to a store and you see corn, four of them for, you know, five dollars. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I can't believe people sell corn like that. You know, I, I just look at them like. I even told one guy, uh, it was actually Ace Hardware, I said, get this off. Nope. What are you doing with four things of corn for this month? This expensive. You know, you're ripping people off. You should be known about helping people, not ripping people off. I told yeah. the guy. That. <laughs> it's because it's like, you know, people spend their, it's, it's, it's very expensive. Yeah. Um, sure. Yeah. Um, Joe, make sure Gail saw my comment. Uh, yes. Gail, did you see that comment I left before about uh, Lufa? Let me see where. Oh, is it one of those seeds that you have to trim? Yes. Okay. I, I, I just learned that this year that there's actual seeds that you have to trim them so that the actual seed itself gets a chance to pop out because the shell's so hard. So you have to trim your Lufa seeds? Jujube, can you... Well, I got them up. Most seeds. So it, it wasn't that. You know, one year the trellis got knocked down. One year they got attacked by ants. Last year we had the drought. It was just one thing on another thing on another thing. So I, I got the loofah up. I just didn't successfully okay. get one that's any bigger than that. Okay. All right. I, I, know, I, I know. I think mine germinated, so we'll see. I know what your problem is, Gil. You didn't add poo. <laughs> poo? Poo. You remember poo? I'm sure, I, I added some chicken poo at some point. Surely. The, the cow maneuver. That, the oh, the poo. Like. Yeah, maybe I didn't add the cow poo. That could be possible. Yeah. Add poo. <laughs> so, Gail, do you see the note down below? What Juju Juju be said? Clipping off the end with nail clipper. Okay. So oh, and I got. Try that. I finally now got my nasturtiums to. 
Awesome. Yeah, sorry. I, I finally got my distortions to sprout. I soaked them in water for 12 hours and then That's all awesome. of them came right up. Never had that happen before. <laughs> Learned well, something I, new. Well, yeah. I'm wondering if you should, like peas you should soak was from what I'm learning. I'm just wondering yeah. if there's any other seeds I should soak, you know? Any hard beans, pumpkin beans. Pinot yeah. beans, kidney beans. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about doing that on my giant pumpkins because I only yeah. have three seeds. Yeah, I've only it. chances to get those giant pumpkins this year. Yeah, soak them. So Helen Ford has a tons of corn seeds. I could send over to her over 20 packs. Please send me her address. So send me your address. Boom. <laughs> um, let me see. I'm just looking at the chat quick, guys. I can't believe it's almost time to go already. That's crazy. Time flies. This has to be definitely one of my fastest lives I ever had. Okay, what are your jokes? Well, I mean, look at your guest on here. We're just gorgeous, aren't we? No. Oh, yes. <laughs> Was it? <laughs> Didn't Ed come up with any jokes? I had jokes. Did you? I want. Do you want me to show the joke I found? Okay. Uh -oh. Let me Got see it. if I can find it again. Oh yeah. Okay, here. No. Why can't the flower ride his bike? Because he lost his pedals. Oh. <laughs> Yay, I like it. <laughs> I think we're gonna start jokes on Wednesday, Gail. Yeah, we should do that. I think that will be really good. Yeah, you gra you grab some jokes and I'll grab some for Wednesday's um, okay. gathering. I'm glad you all like that one. That was pretty good. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be digging. I gotta get. I gotta get. Look, there we are. So I'm. I, Serena was coming up with jokes the whole chat, and it was kind of. I can't look at jokes when you're doing interviews. So I have Serena tell me a joke every time at the end of the live. So Serena, go for it. Tell me a joke. I'll highlight it. Yes. And it's Serena. Anytime I go live, Serena's in the chat. End of the chat. I'll showcase one of her jokes. Oh, she's got one in the in the bank. She's ready. <laughs> yeah. So thank you, Serena, because I don't when you're doing a live and you're really? doing interviews, you can't really follow you're following interviews. You're not following right. jokes per se. Yeah. So we're ready, Serena. Hey, Joe Juby just said, what did the alien dandelion say to the earth dandelion? Take me to the weeder. <laughs> That's, That's a cute one, Sarita. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Do you want another joke? Go for it. What happened to the plant in math class? It grew square roots. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a duh, but it was not. It was like, I know. but if anybody's likes math like I do and is a math person, that's a good one. Yeah, but yeah. would you have gotten it? Huh? Would you have gotten it if somebody else told you? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh. So I'm just waiting for Serena's joke, and then we're going to go back to the wheel. Come on, Serena. We're waiting for you, Serena. The pressure's on. The pressure's on, Serena. She's she's trying to pull it out. So you guys keep on chatting. I'm going to show everybody my guest I'm having on Tuesday. Okay. And uh, you guys continue to talk around. Uh, what kind of tomatoes? Heather, are you, Heather, are you ready for Thursday? Yeah. Are you ready, Heather? Yeah, totally ready. Heather's having her first live ever by herself. I'm running Yay. with different ideas of what I want to do. So good. I miss Serena's joke. I can't believe it. What happened? I think she gave me the answer. I'm a little bit nervous. I didn't see any joke. You've been up in so many lives, Heather. You'll be fine. Oh, there it is. <laughs> well, Juju B. Show up. Be sure to title it my first live. Okay. Of that. You'll get more people that way. Serena, I think I got your answer, but I didn't come up with a question. 
Okay, let me show my. So we have a great guest on Grow Big <laughs> TV on Tuesday. We're also next week. We're going to have a Pearson Force of Mary's Heirloom Seeds, um, Gardener Scott, Tony from Superfly Gardening, and Chili Chump on. All those all are the same same, night? all on the same note. It's going to be a round table. Wow. Okay. Which Everybody's is posting jokes in the comments. I know. I'm trying to keep up. I know. Yeah, put up Riverdale Gardens joke. <laughs> okay. Now they have the jokes here. It was all dry and everything. Nobody had nothing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Heather's got the jokes all the time. Like, I don't know if she even looks them up. I think they just come out of her head. It just randomly, I, I can't think of a joke. It just happens. You know what I'm saying? I don't plan yeah. it. It just pops out of my mouth. So I, Riverdale cute. Garden says, why did Santa Claus have three gardens? So he could ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> ho, ho, ho. ho. Okay, guys. So my Tuesday guest is Ethan Gideon. He's a business owner, a biodynamic a biodynamic farming teacher, permaculture, landscape designer, organic garden coach. He has been, he is all over the web. You guys want to, we're going to learn a lot about this man. I mean, he's been all over the place writing articles. Um, let me go back for a second. This is Tuesday, Joe? This is Tuesday. He's an experienced student under Dr. Lynn Ingram in the Living Soil Food Web. He's also a student of Matt Powers. Knowledgeable business leader, community leader, and a teacher of anyone looking for ways to save the world. He has worked on 250 acres to small small homes. Uh, he writes as a hobby and uh, in a music community between venue management. He supports local farms, facilitates events, and creates safe, uh, safe spaces. I teach all ages from elementary school to experienced gardeners. Uh, and he's all about the future of farms, small properties, indoor grows. He knows everything. <laughs> um, my colleges need attention as well. So I um, mean, we're going to learn a lot from this man on Tuesday, 8 o'clock, Tuesdays and Thursdays on Grow Big TV. Yeah, I have to and, fix the calendar on that. And, which is pretty cool. That's and, awesome. And uh, when we're looking at Grow Big TV, we're all looking for the world's best. So that's the way we do things. So <laughs> that's how, and we're, we're getting people. It's like, yes, I can't believe he's coming to our show. And you guys will laugh your butt off in some of the people I have tried to get or sometimes, trying to work. Right. Um, sometimes all you have to do is ask. All they could do is say no. Like I reached out to Kevin Bacon, you know, the actor. He yeah. Has a phone. He, um, and you got to see some of the other people. So. It's pretty. I'm like, okay. Why not? If they could say no, who cares? You know, this is like the guy I had from That's CBS right. News. He was he's been on Fox News, CBS, uh, ABC, and Grow Big TV. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm afraid just to ask fellow YouTubers for interviews, and here Joe's picking famous people and trying to have them on. So. He's inspiring me, though, just to ask the question, just to see if they'll say yes. So you should. do it, Gail. Do it. So, <laughs> um, what do you get when you cross Ferdinand and Bull? Ferdinand and Bull with Lisa Minnelli. You get fertilizer. Uh, fertilizer. 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 What do you call shoes made out of banana? Or wait, I read that. Where did it go? Never mind. I lost it. It went up. <laughs> and so that was that was a Serena joke, by the way. So that was Serena's joke of life. So uh this is another person I was trying to get was and do our introduction was Hulk Hogan. So <laughs> the reason why I picked up the 90 day fiance, I picked her up in Uber, I spent like seven seven hours with her. So she was, she's all over the place in the news. Um, so we talked for, she talked when I, when she got kicked out of the bar in New Jersey, the first person she was talking to in a, in a car was Hulk Hogan. Hmm. And so I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. <laughs> that's Hulk Hogan. And so, uh, yeah, but that's not going to work out. 
not right now, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. He's been so. around for a really long time. But hey, you never know. It'd be pretty funny if you have Hulk Hogan come on your channel and <laughs> be like, oh my God, that'd be pretty awesome. So, you know, when you guys are formal doing your channels, do something new. Do something that nobody else has ever done. Don't do the same exact thing. Uh, yeah. Just do different things and be you. Never, don't be, you know, if you're you, people kind of generate to it. That's the reason why, like, Luke and my gardener, he, he had that home feeling. You felt like this is, I, I felt at home. I felt like it was a, when he talked, I had something in me that it was just like my heart it was like, man, this guy's really cool, you know? You just didn't make it nervous. You felt at home. I like felt at home. Know. Yeah, and well, we did over time because we've been friends with. We've I've been friends a lot with. Of his videos. Funny. I've been, I have known I have known Luke for over twelve years, I think. So it's been a long, long, long time, and that's the reason why you know he's with our channel. You know, because of those connections. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, and he's very personable. So definitely. Um. Yeah. I can't even imagine if I got Arnold. I haven't reached out to him, but that would be pretty funny. <laughs> I put it up and I lift. No, I lift. I put it up. I lift it down. I lift it down. I lift it up. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what it was. I don't know what his commercial was. Okay, guys, let's go to the wheel, and then we're gonna end this live after the wheel. So uh, let me see. Good luck, buddy. So, do you guys see that on your end? Yes. The wheel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm shuffling. So the first thing I'm giving away is the adaption book. Ooh. And after the adaptions book, actually, we got two of those. Then we have an autoimmune cookbook. Oh, that's cool. So we got three books. And then we got some. Oh, good luck, Jan. And then we got some thigh sweet <laughs> chili sauce. Nice. So we're going to give those four things away. That sounds good. Oh, good luck, Jan. Okay. Oh. So here, let's give the thigh sweet chili sauce away first. Good luck, everyone. Become a member. It helps. It helps. All donations help for the channel. Good I luck. <laughs> Congratulations to Tammy M. Congrats. So congratulations. You only got to the end of the live to claim your prize. You can't claim it after. You got to claim it in the live. Autoimmune cookbook. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> Retail vinegar. Life again. That's so funny. Luckiest man on the earth, 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 earth. And uh, Melanie from uh, Lathalia's Little Hook gifted a membership. Thank you so much for doing that. And Garden State so and so won the gifted membership. So, congratulations. Oh, congratulations. Oh, nice. Welcome. And Tammy M is here. So, congratulations to Tammy M. Hook and rod in hand. And Mike's chaotic gardening. I don't know if he's still here, but congratulations to yeah. Mike. He's still here. Um, I don't know if he claimed his prize yet. Yep, there he is. Okay. Wow, we got a lot of winners tonight. That's pretty awesome. Okay, here comes the adaptions book. Congratulations, Mike. Congratulations, buddy. Adaptions. Kathleen Moran, congratulations. Congrats. Hey. Congratulations. And the last one. 
And Greg Bryson, who's also a Joseph's Journey member who's been here for a long, 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 long time. Yes, he has. So congratulations to Greg Bryson. So, guys, thank you guys so much for coming on alive. Hopefully you guys had a good time. And um, we've got a great, yeah, a lot of great so. stuff coming out for 2024. And um, we all learn from each other. And hopefully we all could, could in, in the chat, too, everybody share each other out. It really, really helps everybody. You know, we put yeah. we put all the effort in our work. You guys are always in the channel. You're always doing your thing. You're always, it's a lot of time put in, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So help. Oh, Kathleen is here. Congratulations to um, Kathleen Moran. So Kathleen's here, which is awesome. And Greg Bryson won. He's also a Joseph's Journey member. If you're a Joseph's Journey member, you automatically win a prize because they're paying a good amount of money to become that member. So congratulations, Greg. So, wow, that was an awesome amount of winners tonight, which is awesome. Yeah, uh, congratulations Anna, to all the winners. Uh, Indiana Backyard Gardener has their seed swap. So uh, Gail Southern Living, she's been promoting the seed swap. It's the best seed swap she has ever been in. So it go check true. out Indiana Backyard Gardener for that. Yeah. It was an awesome seed swap last year. And you made me just so to end out the night. <laughs> to end out the night, uh, Tell everybody when you guys go live. Do you have a schedule? Do you just put out information? So promote your channel where people want to check and say, hey, you know, I want to check out that person's channel. So um, say something about yourself and your channel before we leave. I do uh, cooking from scratch, dehydrating, gardening. I have chickens. I have some goats. I do my lives on Wednesday with Gail and I'll be starting a separate live coming up in the next week or so, probably on Monday evenings. Nice. Well, Heather, you're fixing to go live. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Milk and Honey Heritage Farm has a Z at the end. I'm going to start my lives. My first one will be Thursday morning. So, guys. <laughs> and I do a lot of uh, farming, gardening, crafting, cooking, all kinds of stuff. Awesome. You want me to go next, Gail? Uh, Gail with Gail Southern Living. Uh, I go live on Tuesdays, 5 p.m. Central Time, right before Grow Big TV. And on Friday morning at 1030, I follow Literature and More with Kathleen with my Broken Hearts Ministry channel. Yeah. And uh, I do, I have three lives. I'm doing one for my Alabama Farm Life. I'm doing it on Wednesdays at noon. And I've try to go over all the stuff that I do on the farm and things that are going on. And then on my second channel, which is literature and more with Kathleen, I'm doing Monday and Fridays at nine 30. And what I'm trying to do is um, talk about things that can help us make better videos, uh, find free wear that we can use in our videos. It doesn't cost us anything. And tomorrow at nine 30, I'm going to be talking about public domain and some of the things that we can use in our videos that are free. And uh, so maybe I'll see you there tomorrow. Very nice. And, and one last thing, Gail, can you just, before we end this live, can you talk about your ministry channel a little bit? Because I just think uh, it's so important and it touches my heart. Ministry dash Gail. Uh, it has a pink and black logo. Um, I, my mom and I started a homeless ministry after my sister Gretchen passed away. We found out she had been homeless. Uh, she didn't ask for help. So we started a ministry about a month and a half after that. And we've been going out every single month uh, since uh, December of 2022. And uh, so I started a channel just for that. And um, I just show the different donations that I get 
and uh, have devotions, have a lot of lives. I'm trying to monetize that channel uh, to raise money for the homeless ministry. And we give out food and toiletries and coats and blankets and lunch sacks and all kinds of different stuff to the homeless in Abilene, Texas. Nice, right. Thank you so it's a, much. It's a great cause. She does such a great it job for her mom. Thank you. Okay, guys. Well, thank you guys so much. This was thank a great you, live. We basically thank had you. over 100 people, 100 people in the chat for the most of the part during the live here, wow. which is pretty cool. Nice. And uh, hopefully you guys really enjoyed that. I want to do more roundtables like this. Um, I just think it, it helps everybody out. So. It does. Yeah, it really does. All right. So I'll see everybody during the week. Um, everybody stay. You guys stay on for one second before yep. I get into live. And uh, okay, bye, everybody. Congratulations to all the winners, too. Have a blessed week. Be sure to email Joe your info so he can send out your seeds and books yeah. and stuff. Yes. Go, go check out everybody. Yes. Thank you, everyone. And I'll see bye. you on Tuesday on Grow Big TV.